hopefully helpful. Learn, implement, win. Episode 7, Placing Claymores. Placing claymores can be hard because you're always trying to balance likeliness to kill and visibility. In general, the most visible claymores are also the most likely to kill. So what you're trying to find is a balance where the claymore isn't so visible that the enemies will always see it, but is still lethal enough that it'll kill in most situations. What I've found is that if you're trying to cover an area like this doorway, you want to place your claymore at a 45 or 90 degree angle, and in some situations, turning the 90 degree claymore just slightly will increase its lethality. Out of all of the claymore positions that I've tried, the 45 degree angle works the best for me, followed by the 90. And of course, these claymore positions can be inverted. Even though these work well, they're not always going to give you a kill. Personally, I use claymores more as a warning system. If it gets a kill, that's great. If it gets a hit marker, that's good. But all I really needed to do is just give me a warning to tell me where the enemy's coming from so I can hopefully counter them in time. Claymores also have lots of counters. For example, Hacker allows an enemy to see your claymore from anywhere on the map. The Jammer will jam a claymore if it's within its area of coverage, making it completely useless. Flak Jacket makes it so it would take two direct claymore hits to kill you at full health. Stun grenades and flashbangs will disable a claymore for a few seconds, also rendering it useless. Lightweight is sometimes enough to save someone from the full blast of a claymore. And in some situations, dolphin diving. So as you can see, claymores have lots of counters. The last two are mainly due to the fact that claymores only have such a large killing range, and because it takes 0.83 seconds for it to detonate after being triggered. Here are just some in-game examples. This is definitely how you do not want to place a claymore. The chances of getting a kill set up like this is slim to none. Some of you are probably still wondering how to know which door to place a claymore at and how to place it. In this case, I just looked at the map and figured out where my allies are and where the enemies are probably going to come from. First, I determined where all the doors for the building are. There's one in the next room connected to the outside, there's one right in front of me, and there's one in the back where I came in from. Next, I determined that we control the area highlighted in green, and the enemies control the area highlighted in red, so that eliminates the third door because most likely the enemies aren't going to come from there. Keep in mind, this thought process only took about a second. Don't spend all day trying to figure out which door is absolutely the best. And as you'll see here, because of the claymore, I'm able to get these two kills right here. This is from the other guy's perspective, and as you'll see, he doesn't even see the claymore. Let's watch that again. That claymore worked well. The last thing you may be wondering is how to determine which side to place the claymore on and how close to the door it should be. In this case, I knew that the most likely scenario would be that the enemy would enter going right, so I put the claymore on the left so it would be harder for them to see, which gives me a higher chance that the enemy will walk into the kill zone of the claymore. As for distance, you just don't want it to be too close or too far, because generally, the closer you put it to the door, the more likely you're going to be able to kill people walking but the easier it will be for people running to get past your claymore, but if you place it farther back, the enemy might not even enter your kill zone, or it might only kill the people running. This last clip is just another example of using the claymore correctly. I come up here and place the claymore up top. I go to this room and look out the window, because I know the enemies are coming from this general direction. Then I hear footsteps and my claymore goes off. So I come around, ready to hit fire, and get a nice double spray. Bam, said the lady. <laughs>